Hello fellow cinephiles, film guru here. Today I'm reviewing The Babysitter Killer Queen. This was once again directed by Mac G and, st and stars Judah Lewis, Jenna Ortega, Samara Weaving, Bella Thorne and a variety of others. The film takes place two years after the events of the first film, where Cole being the only survivor and taking out the bad guys, and ultimately people not believing him. They think he made the whole story up. And this starts to have effect on his school life and his home life even to the point where his parents believe he may need psychiatric help and look at putting him into a hospital. He knows what he saw and experienced, whether other people do or not, but he sort of keeps quiet about it. His only friend is really Melanie, the friend that he had across the road that appeared in the first one, that it's sort of friends, but there's a little more going on there, and she's played by Emily Aylan Lind. And then we're introduced to Jenna Ortega's character, Phoebe a really crazy, zany sort of character to begin with that ultimately becomes a really interesting character throughout the film. But it's really about her and Cole's interaction that sort of forms the, the bond that propels this movie forward. Ultimately, Melanie and her friends take Cole to a river, a river party that's happening and they ultimately end up on a riverboat and start to play games. And this is where the blood cult members reappear once again and want to complete the ritual that they began. They want to take Cole's blood and ultimately achieve the goals that they set out for themselves. Ultimately Cole is able to escape this but he's locked in a battle for survival against these blood cult members. With the help of Phoebe, these two bond and they both are heading towards something. There's a connection to them that we don't quite know until later into the film. And this all leads to ultimately Cole trying to stop them once again to survive and to keep Phoebe safe from them and to ultimately overcome his fears and become the hero once again that he really wants to be. I thought this film was really solid. As sequels go, I think it did quite well. I like the idea that Cole's a couple of years older and he's been affected by the events, that no one believes him of what happened because there was no bodies found. They think he's a bit crazy and I like the effect that that has on him. I like the, his interactions in, in the high school, which we didn't quite get to see in the first film. I like that. I like the relationship he has with Melanie and how she sort of believes in him, supports him. I really like that. I think the introduction of Jenna Ortega's character, Phoebe, is really good. She's an interesting character. This is the first time I've really seen Jenna. I know she's sort of popular and she's ultimately be appearing in Scream 5 and was also in season two of You. I think she does a solid job here and her interaction with Cole is really great as well. Like I've mentioned, there's a number of things I enjoyed about this film, but there's some things I didn't like as much. To begin with, I just felt like this film wasn't as good as the first one. I still enjoyed it and had a good experience, and it was still fun and entertaining and over the top and, and everything that a, a usual Mac G film is. I just felt the first film was sort of simple and effectively done. There's just something pure and interesting about that. With the sequel, I like it, like I said, it evolves the Cole character and we get to see him a bit. And where Samara Weaving, to me, owns the first film, Judah Lewis owns this film. The Cole character is the most interesting character. Phoebe is kind of interesting as well. We see everything through Cole. He's, the, he's what propels this film forward. And he's just really interesting to watch and I really like his performance here. I just felt that they could have explored things a bit more. Like, where did this book come from? How did it first begin? We get to see, like how they were chosen and what they want to achieve by having Cole's blood and becoming what they want to be. But I just felt like they could have went more into the book. We could have had a bit of an Evil Dead aspect to it, I felt. Where the book came from, how it was designed and created, how it all began. I would have liked to have seen more of that. I thought that would have been a bit more interesting element to the film. I felt it was trying to be too funny in parts. These moments with Cole's dad and Melanie's dad together and it just it comes off as kind of a dumb stoner comedy thing and I don't I kind of like that. I think the two actors they've got can be funny, but they're a bit over top in these sort of moments. There's one character they took in a direction I didn't like and didn't like what they did with that character. And Samara Weaving does appear in this film, only splashes of her and more towards the end. And I just felt she was one of the most interesting things about the first film and she should have appeared a bit more in my opinion. Maybe I'm a bit biased because I'm a huge fan of her, but I just felt that her character could have been just introduced a bit more into this film. Yeah, just ultimately just tried to be too big. And I did expand things and I kind of liked that, expand the world a little bit. But I just felt it was going, it was pushing things a bit too much. But in saying that, I still enjoyed the film. I love all the 80s references. And there's the risky business tune that plays when Phoebe and Cole are together, which I really like. And they sort of address that in the film. It's still very funny in parts. The horror is kind of really cleverly done and interesting. 
everybody has a sort of a good and fun time in this movie. It's very colorful. There's this whole se fight sequence that happens that plays out like an old 80s video game, like Street Fighter, which I really loved. I like the atmosphere and the feel of the film. Visually, it's quite striking in parts, especially towards the end of the movie. And these aspects that they kept going that they sort of brought back from the first. And there's just a sort of fun element to it, but there's sort of a little bit of heart there. Cole's ultimately growing again and becoming more comfortable in his own skin. And he, he's trying to show people that these things actually did happen. They, he didn't make them up. They actually did transpire the way they did. And I really like that. And of course, Samara Weaving. What can I say? Big fan, I think she's fantastic. But even though she's not in a lot of the film, I think her reappearance is really well done and clever. And she serves a big, bigger purpose in this film. She, she sort of brings together Phoebe and Cole in a way and there's a connection between them all and I like that. Other aspects of the film I liked is where you got to see each of these members of the Blood Cult and who they were before and, and what led them to going down the path of making this deal with the devil, so to speak, to, to get what they want. It's really cleverly done. It should have shot in like a VHS sort of old school 80s style. And there are some fun moments here. So besides that, I, I thought overall it was a solid film and I still enjoyed it. I just felt there was avenues they could have went down that may, would have made it much more interesting. And, and they could have explored this world a bit more and maybe they will if they do a third one. Final thoughts. At the essence, it's really about once again, Cole evolving a horror coming of age story where we're evolving this Cole character from a kid to a man and, and, and further on. And I really like that. And I think it's really well done in that aspect. I'm gonna give The Babysitter, Killer Queen, three and a half out of five. Thought it was solid, fun, entertaining. If you like the first one, you'll enjoy this one. And it is once again, Mac G doing what he does best, making an entertaining and fun film. Anyway, that's all for me today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please subscribe in the bottom, follow me on Facebook. Otherwise, until next time, enjoy the movies.